All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back with more of what I drank yesterday and just a quick visit from our friends from Swanson. Just one wine. I don't know why we have two wines up here, but neither one of these are the wine that I'm talking about. This is a new wine, which uh, these guys have just come out with called Instant Napa. You know, Swanson is an estate in Oakville. They don't purchase fruit. Uh, you know, the great Andre Chelichev was a consultant when Clark Swanson started out in the early 80s. And he said, uh, you know, what should I do? And he said, Merlot, the land you have, it's great for Merlot. And this was way before the Merlot craze started. And I always tell Clark he's got this crystal ball. You know, he knows what's coming up next, it seems, as he got into Pinot Gris before Pinot Gris just started to get big. And, uh, well, now they decided to make, I don't want to say a step down in terms of, you know, the quality level that the estate wines are, but just a different wine, instant Napa. So you open up the wine and instantly you're a Napa. Okay, well, I like the concept, um, and this wine is definitely Napa Valley. There's no mistaking that. Uh, it's made from all purchased fruit. Chris Phelps, the winemaker now at Swanson, used to work at the Camus, so he has a lot of contacts. They make a lot more wine at Camus than they do at Swanson, so he had to buy a lot of fruits. And to some of his friends and the business colleagues he's established through the years, he said, Clark, man, we really should, you know, we need more Cabernet. We need something at a different price point. I don't know where this wine's going to be exactly, but $50, $60 it looks like. But uh, we need something that, you know, a little more every day than the Alexis at $75. And, you know, the Cabernet Sauvignon category is still the hottest category in Napa Valley, of course. So this is a lot of really lovely currant and cherry cassis berry fruit shown on the nose. Some toasty oak uh, cocoa spice, really forward and seductive. This 2009 vintage, really nice from Napa as well. A bit firm and tannic on the palate, though, still very young. A little dark cherry berry fruit, nice structure. And uh, espresso, kind of dark chocolate notes on the finish. Definitely needs a bit of time. And, hey, we had a little bit of time. I still had the wine around the next day. The next day wine was really singing. Let me tell you, that is the sign of a well-made wine when on the second day the wine is showing even better than the first name. What happens is the tannins polymerize, become longer and more smooth in your mouth and this wine definitely, uh, you know, if you buy this, I would recommend either opening up to cannering for two hours or don't worry about finishing that bottle the first night because it is going to be outstanding still on the second evening. Excellent juice from our friends at Swanson Vineyards. All right, coming up next, some killer stuff from a new estate in Napa, Dana Estate.